Ellis B. Feaster's Radio Air Check and Classic TV Channel. Channel 2, I didn't say I was going to be on there. I would break the camera, Sally. No, or Jim said something about Channel 2. Oh, I, we were just talking about Jean Wolfe. You know, she has a show on, on uh, Thursday nights at 8 o'clock called uh, Conversations with Jean Wolfe. That's right. And she's such a nice lady. She listens to us in the morning. Well, that's beautiful. And it hasn't even made her crazy. Anybody with the name of Wolf is a nice lady. That's true. By the way, is she your grandmother? God forbid. <laughs> Sally! <laughs> No, you know how, not that I wouldn't love to have a personality like that to be called Grandma, but she is, she's, I'm a, ten times older than she is, probably. She is a beautiful lady. That is, wonderful. Okay, I thought I heard... But she's not the only one, I'm talking to one. Oh, thank you, and I'm talking to a wonderful, wonderful person. Let's get married, Sally. Oh, I don't know. I'm too uh, worn out. Maybe just a little sin, then. Yeah, a little sin. <laughs> Corruption. <laughs> I've never really tasted grape soda before. Winner will be chosen by random drawing. Good luck from Y100, Y100. Y100, it's the lovely and talented Tanner here at 8.42 in the morning. Yes, Tanner. In the morning. Yeah, how's the campaign going? Channel 2 to change the time of Mary Hartman. Well, I don't know. The wretches, they've going to put it on at 11 o'clock starting Monday. Oh, uh, that's really... Uh, what, you mean uh, we can't... We, we don't have an in? Gene uh, Wolf can't help us? Well, I tried to call last night and voice my vote against it. Well, we just have to get Gene to try to help us. That's right. Tell her that, um... What, what do we tell her to get us to help her? Hmm. Um, maybe we could give her a Kramer. Oh, no. Good night. Please. Then they'll, then they'll take the show off the air. Good night. Night. Remember the days when you could buy ladies polyester gabardine pants in sizes 4 to 20 for $3.75? Other of regular fries, a regular size soft drink, or Kramer has. Get your free game card at McDonald's. <laughs> 16 before 9, you're ready to score one of those beautiful Y100 birthday booty shirts. All right, hop on the telephone and be caller number 10, and I'll make you a Y100 winner. Gonna find my baby afternoon delight. Y100, hit 13 before 9, and guess who's caller number 10? Oh, you're joking. Would I lie about a booty shirt? Especially a free concert birthday booty shirt? <laughs> you got it. All right. Oh, hi, what's your name, man? Eric. Eric, congratulations. Riding around town with all the Y100, and war, this is Tanner in the morning, it's 10 before 9, I guess you just heard Eric score himself a brand new Y100 birthday booty shirt, Kramer will be in just a few minutes with a whole stack of them to give away, and what were you saying, Eric? Tanner, oh, I got some bad news and some good news. Well, let's have the bad news first. I want a Y100 belt buckle. You want one? Yeah. And now the good news? I lost it. You lost it? Yeah. That's the bad news, the good news was that you won it, I hope. <laughs> Oh, no. How did you lose it? Fishing. Fishing? Yeah. Well, you're not supposed to use it for fish bait. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. We'll just have to give you another one. You kid. W would I lie about such a serious subject as a belt buckle? I, I, I hope not. Uh, indeed not. Would you like to have another one? Yeah. You got it. All right. Am I not a lovely and talented person? No, we is kept. Sports in the shoeshine state. If you're a Jackie Kennedy watcher, happy birthday, Jackie. What? If you it's make that your sport. True. 46 years 47. old. 47? Jackie Kennedy Onassis is Goodness. 47 years putting old on, today. Putting on the years, Jacqueline. Right. Quarterback Ron Galella <laughs> is out with his cameras today. Yeah. <laughs> in the Olympics, it may not have been sweet revenge, but the outcome was sweet all the same as the U.S. Olympic basketball team last night reclaimed the gold medal it lost four years ago with a resounding 95-74 to 74 win over Yugoslavia. And that's sports.
lights in the sun shines. Also, the 16-year-old swimmer, what was his name? Greg what? Greg Dukakis. No, wait a minute. Oh, I've got right. it here. Greg Luganis. Yes. Just barely missed winning the gold medal. Boy, I was supposed for him. But the guy from, uh, what, Australia? Somewhere around Italy. Italy. The wind.